recent years, our ability to predict rainfall and understand extreme weather patterns has improved. Modern hydrological studies and new safety standards have been set since the dam was built in 1968. As luck would have it, or as God would have it, in the years since the design of the dam, there has been a dramatic increase in the estimated floods for the many storages around Australia. And Blowering has been one of them. The New South Wales Dam Safety Committee set and monitor the safety standards for all dams in New South Wales. State Water, as the owner of the dam, must comply with the New South Wales Dam Safety Committee's new requirements to improve the dam's ability to pass extreme floods. Blowing Dam was quite safe for day-to-day -day operation uh, and also it could handle uh, any, any uh, worst flood on record. However, it did not comply uh, the safety standards set out by the Dam Safety Committee because its spillway capacity was not sufficient to cater for the extreme large flood. So therefore, State Water Corporation embarked on a, a planning and development uh, phases of the project uh, that how we better uh, improve the condition of the dam so that it can handle the extreme large flood. To comply with current dam safety requirements, State Water embarked on a major upgrade program and upgrade to the dam. After the project development, uh, it worked out that uh, the construction of a parapet wall on the crest of the dam was the best way of improving the flood capacity of the dam. So basically what it does, the parapet wall uh, gives an additional airspace, the dam can handle the flood and also the modification of the spillway by raising the chute walls so that the spillway can handle larger, larger discharge through it uh, and containing the flood within this domain. Great works involved construction of a parapet wall on the dam crest and raising the spillway walls to contain high flood discharges within the spillway domain. These works improved the spillway capacity of the dam to handle extreme large floods. The full storage level and water delivery services to water users, however, are unchanged by these upgrade works. State Water Corporation awarded the construction contract to McMahon Contractors Proprietary Limited on the 2nd of April 2009 at a cost of $33 million. Construction of the parapet wall and raising 300 metre long spillway walls were quite complex and required approximately 10,000 cubic metres of concrete and 145,000 cubic metres of earthworks. McMahon Contractors started uh, at Blaring Dam on uh, June 2009. The project was due to be completed July 2011. Uh, we finished six months ahead of schedule. We had three tower cranes operating here uh, during the, the project. We had uh, over 90 employees on site here at one time. Uh, here on the Blaring Dam project, McMahon contractors aimed to utilise uh, local plant and personnel as much as we could, and uh, they all did a, a great job. Professional Engineering Service, PES, were uh, contracted by State Water for the uh, Blaring Dam upgrade, and it's been my job to be on site throughout the, the upgrade works and to manage the contract for state water. Now, a couple of the things that uh, come to mind, I'm um, just looking down on where the drainage work and the excavation work has gone in behind the old walls and the construction of the new walls. Um, very steep terrain and a lot of the working areas were very, very difficult. And during the summer months it was extremely hot because of the confined area down there. Um, another challenge here was, uh, was actually constructing 
bring the spillway walls up the required amount, which is about two and a half metres. And as you can see back here behind me, it, this slope is at about 55 degrees. So it's, it's a real challenge. The old walls are about five metre high and you can see by the, the change in colour of the concrete that the new walls, two and a half metres approximately, has been put on top. So this whole area had to be done with scaffolding, it was very steep, it was extremely difficult for, for the people that actually worked on the job, for steel fixers, for form workers. Uh, one of the other challenges we have added was uh, part of the top of the wall had to be uh, rehabilitated, reconstructed for this pro project and you can see looking back on the wall from here you can see the two different colours of rock. We have a lighter coloured rock to the top which is new, a darker colour rock to the bottom which is, which is the original. Um, if you can imagine this wall is 112 metres high, we actually had to bring all that rock off down to the dark level. Excavators were used. To get in there, the, the wall was put back to its to the required shape for this particular upgrade, and then the new rock face was put on the front. Again, because of the steepness and the narrowness up there, it was a, a real challenge to the contractor. McMahon Contractors completed the spillway upgrade in August 2010, and four months later, the spillway is discharging for the first time in 18 years which is great to see, but uh, we're, we're very glad we finished in the time we did. Our success here and, and being so far ahead of schedule can be attributed to, to favourable uh, weather and uh, low dam levels, uh, which has obviously changed, of course. Now, uh, that combined with our, our program and our schedule of works, we had a, a system operating on, on several fronts, the, the spillway walls, raising and widening the, the dam wall, uh, and also the, the, the parapet wall across the, the top of the dam. At times we'll, we'll run in parallel, and that, uh, that led to an early completion of the project.
I'm standing on the crest of the dam and you can see like uh, this parapet wall which is effectively uh, uh, raises the height of the dam by two meters. So when there's a flood inflow, the wall can hold more water against the dam. To anchor the two meter parapet wall, we had to go two and a half meters underground so that we have proper anchorage. And when actually it comes up to, up to this point, here we have kinged the wall so that we have a larger space. So the vehicles were coming off this side of the, uh, of the embankment. They can turn around and they can go back. This is the training wall. And the design of the training wall is quite critical and important because uh, when there's a flood surcharge, the flood surcharge had to be diverted into the spillway. So this training wall, what it does, like it diverts the water into the spillway and therefore design of training wall is quite critical in terms of uh, the stability and, and anchorage. We needed three post-tension anchors, you can see them. And they're basically installed there to make sure the training wall can get additional forces uh, to withstand the uh, overturning forces. And this side of the parapet wall is purely for state water access. So state water uh, staff, when they carry out the surveillance, surveillance works, they actually come on this side of the wall and they come up with the stairs. The stairs only for only accessible for the state water staff uh, so that they can go other side of the wall. So we're at the completion of the Blowering Dam Safety Upgrade Project, a project that's been completed ahead of time on budget and at fantastic quality, just in time for water to go spilling over the spillway. This is another example of state water upgrading its assets and bringing them in line with contemporary standards for dam safety. On the 15th of December 2010, the Blowering Dam upgrade was officially opened. The project itself is something that has made an enormous contribution to this community. Whether it has been through the employment and may I take the opportunity at this stage to congratulate McMahon contractors. The contribution that your organisation has made to this community over the past 18 months has been amazing. Today we're celebrating the completion of the dam safety upgrade. It's been a fantastic project, it's come in five months ahead of time and it's right on budget. And it's one of the uh, first projects that State Water's undertaken to take our dams, which was a portfolio of up-to-date 1960s dams, to really bring them into the 21st century. And uh, Blowering today is a dam that meets contemporary standards throughout the world. State Water owns, maintains, manages and operates major infrastructure to deliver bulk water to approximately 6,300 licensed water users across New South Wales regulated rivers along with associated environmental flows. Historically, this has involved delivery of an average 5,500 gigalitres annually. State Water has an asset portfolio of $3.5 billion and is in the process of upgrading seven dams across New South Wales, injecting more than a quarter of a billion dollars into regional community infrastructure. State Water is committed to ensure that these assets are safe for the local communities and stakeholders, in line with modern national and international safety standards.